Take my hand. I want you to feel the power in my grip and the softness in my skin. I want you to look fully ahead with no fear of falling or strain, of course. I want you to stand tall in the winds of change and know that I am always by your side. And if you want to cry, please cry. Who would not cry in a world like this? As we walk, I want you to tell me of your dreams, of your loves, and of your hopes. Feel my hand in yours as we walk and feel the energy of my presence seep into your heart enveloping your entire being into a glowing white veil of protection. I want you to know that you have never made a mistake in my eyes. You have made choices that perhaps did not turn out as you anticipated, but they were not mistakes. Each new world you tread, each new life you share, each new energy you embrace just adds to the kaleidoscope of my beloved child. I love you not because you dare to dream. I love you not because you fall and straighten yourself again and again against adversity. I love you because you took the step. The step that brings you closer to home and union with your utter magnificence. I have always been beside you. Your mother has always been beside you, even those times where the delusions were too dark to see us. But you knew we were there. You can close your eyes to your divinity, but never your heart. Each day, just turn a little bit farther away from the delusion of your world. See the eyes of your mother and everyone you meet. Feel the strength of your father and every person that you embrace. The beauty and love that I send down to all my children's hearts is to be used and then extended to those in need. Take all you need and more. The love is infinite and share that which overflows. I see your path. I see your future. And I see when you will once again be enveloped in my arms. My patience is infinite because my child is needed to see new galaxies, embrace new worlds, and share the love of the divine with those that lack the eyes to see. I feel your soft hand in mine. Your heart now beats in rhythm. I tell you this every time we are together, but you still only hear with the ears. You are loved unconditionally and it has never been otherwise. Perfection has a name, and it is you. Love yourself as I love you. Release any doubt to the Holy Spirit and live as an expression of a singular, non-polarized loving God that could not judge even if he chose to. There is no duality in union. There is no judgment in your mother and nothing but compassion and love from your father. Stop looking outside of yourself for validation. You were validated the moment you took your first step onto this world as a brilliant, beautiful, powerful child of God. I know who you are. You know who you are. And in that, we are complete. We are taking this walk through creation, through untold worlds, under unimaginable skies, together hand in hand, with a single heartbeat and a singular focus to return to my father's house. I know you will come with me. We are bound by a love that knows no limit. And I truly look to the day when I can speak the words. Welcome home, my beloved. Welcome home. It has been written in the ethers, and so it shall be. Amen.